Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version. The sun has set, it's now nighttime, and I did exactly what I what I said I would. I went and trained until the sun set. So, now everyone is at least level 22 or more. Jigglypuff is all the way up to 25. I wish I could have trained a bit more, but it's nighttime now and it's time to stop. It's time to continue our quest to get all the badges. And for that, we need to pay a visit to the Ecrutique Pokemon Gym. You may notice that I took Parasite back and trained him too. Let's take a look. Parasite is now level 23. And he also learned Leech Life. Now, you may think that I trained down here, because it's the closest area. But as a matter of fact, that's not where I trained at all. I'll show you a good training spot. If you need some good experience and some easy battles, you can just pass this little checkpoint here, and go train inside this cave. Mount Mortar. You'll find that Mount Mortar has a lot of matchup, Rattata, and Raticate, and they're very easily taken care of, and they, they give some good experience too. So that this is where I was training Paris. Now, I just want to make sure that we have everything we need to tackle that Pokemon Gym, and then we'll go. So let's see here. If I do sell, I have three antidotes and three paralyzed eel, but the one thing I'm concerned about is being put to sleep by hypnosis. So, I'm going to buy Awakening at least twice. Oh, do they... Okay, there it is. My goodness, I completely passed it. So with this, we should be safe. At least I hope. You'll find that there's a lot of ghost types in there, and they tend to cast curse quite a bit. And if they use Curse on you, your HP will go down very quickly. So, be careful of that. Here we are, the Ecrutique Pokémon Gym. Let's see. The leader is Morty. We saw him at the Burn Tower last time. The Mystic Seer of the Future. Well, the lights are on. It looks like people are still inside the gym. I guess this thing is open all night. Let's pay him a visit. Good evening! The trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell some deep secrets about Ecrutique. Oh. Oh, that's actually very cool. Alright. So, I figured our best candidate for this Pokemon Gym was Goopy. She's only level 22, but don't worry. With her dig attack, she should be just fine. And she'll get some very good experience here. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokémon? Well, I guess he's saying that because he's using ghost types, huh? Sage Ping. Well, Ping? I'm not worried, because in this generation, levitate is not a thing. And so I shall dig and dig and dig again. I will dig until I win! Ghastly, take that! Oh yeah! Rinse and repeat. Well, what's next? Hmm. I have a feeling this guy only has Ghastly. You only have Ghastly, don't you? And they're all level 16? That's... That's a very strange strategy. Well, you know what? That's fine by me. Seeing Ghastly always reminds me of the Ghastly episode from the show. I'm very fond of that one, The Ghost of Maiden's Peak. For anyone who who doesn't remember the episode, or perhaps you've just never seen it, it's an episode where 
Ash and his friends make it to a city, and there's a carnival going on. It's like the carnival of spirits, and every year, at this time, it is said that a ghost appears. The ghost of a, of a young maiden who passed away, waiting for her love to return from the war. She was waiting out for him on this peak by the ocean, and it is said that she waited so long that she turned to stone and he never returned. It's actually a very sad story. James and Brock become smitten by how beautiful this young woman is and they start to see her ghost. It's a, it's a cool and creepy episode. It's really worth a look. Ghastly has some very cool powers in that episode and he talks. One of the few rare Pokemon of the day they encounter that actually talks. Makes him very special. Hmm. I don't want to learn Amnesia. Though, I don't think I will ever use Slam again. Alright, I'll get rid of Slam and learn Amnesia. I just don't think I'll use it much. Yep, if you guys can check it out, it's on Netflix. The title is The Ghost of Maiden Speak. Though, I wish I remembered the episode number. That would make it even easier for you to find it. It's one of my all-time favorite episodes. Ghastly has such a fun personality in that. If you guys give it a look, let me know what you thought. What is your favorite ep episode from the anime? I mean, okay, let's keep this simple so you don't have to think about the whole show. What's your favorite episode from the Indigo Plateau story arc? If you can think of one, let me know. Well... The only damage we took was from that curse, but it was some nasty damage anyway. Might as well use two potions. I hope I don't get cursed too much. Oh dear! Huh, so you can fall through. There's an invisible path. We only use ghost-type Pokémon. No normal-type attack can harm them. Unless you use Foresight. I finally found out what Foresight does. It allows you to hit ghost Pokémon. Stumped by our invisible floor? Defeat me if you want a hint. Okay. Okay, Granny. Oh dear! Granny! She looks like she's in a really, really bad time. Are you having a heart attack or something? Do you want your medication? No, of course. She's just possessed. That That's nothing, right? At least she's not sick. She's just possessed. Possessed by a hunter. Well, you can be a hunter or you can be a ghastly. It's all the same to me. I'm just going to dig my way to victory, my friend. I could have used Surfed, right? It probably would have been strong enough. Ah, that curse damage, it's a real problem. I guess that Sage Ping's strategy was to inflict curse on you and then spam ghastly until the curse takes you out. It's cheap, it's dirty, but it works, kind of. Dig away, goopy! I'm making holes through their inv invisible floor. Don't know how that works, but that's what I'm doing. Take that! Yeah! Look at that little goopy with her cute little paws. Aww. Medium Grace was defeated. What? 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 Hello? Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eyes! Yeah, a straight line this way. I figured it was something like that. Well, let's heal up again. It's always the same amount. That curse does a, the, a fixed amount of damage. I guess it's a certain percentage of your HP. Hello! I spent the spring with my Pokémon. 
Then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. Oh, that's sweet. What's your Pokémon? Oh, he's got only one, too. He must be very close. It's another ghost. It's a haunter. What else? And let me guess, you're going to use Curse. Oh! I was faster. Huh. I was actually faster. Well, what do you know? What a pleasant surprise. We took no damage this time. Good job, Goopy. Awesome. Wins and losses, I experienced both. Where did Pokémon come from? Good question. You want to get all philosophical on me? Hello, Grandma. I shall win. Oh, that's all she has to say, huh? Okay. Yeah, you go, Grandma. Martha, you will win. I'm sure you'll use the exact same strategy the others used. So, um, see where that takes you. I'm running out of digs. That's a problem. Gonna have to go back to the Pokémon Center before I challenge the gym leader. I don't want to challenge him with some moves missing. Could be kind of careless, especially since he has all his moves. It's not exactly what I would call fair. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and then come back. This is my last dig. Oh, it used curse. Curses! Maybe I should use Surf. I really wonder how strong Surf would be. Definitely not strong enough to knock them out in one shot, I don't think so. But we'll see. We'll have to use Surf anyway. Or will we? I could switch to Furion and use Bite. Maybe I will! <laughs> okay, let's see how strong Bite will be. Oh dear! And that was not even a critical hit, huh? Well... That takes care of that. I, I, I lost! Grandma? The one who wants to win most will. Y yeah, that's how it works. Okay, let's go heal up. What a strange Pokemon gym. Full of stages and possessed grandmas. Did I say stages? I said stages. I meant sages. <laughs> In any case, it it's weird. But Morty is a pretty cool gym leader, I'll give him that. He's one of the more interesting ones. Considering he's interested in legendary Pokémon, I always felt like Morty had a connection to the spiritual world and to legendary Pokémon. I think Morty and Sabrina would be some of my favorite gym leaders, in terms of their story and how mysterious they are, I mean. Of course, I will always adore Misty. Well. It's time to challenge Morty, but you know what I always do before I challenge a gym leader? I save my game, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm ready. Good of you to have come. Here in Ecruteague, Pokémon have been revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokémon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokémon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level!
Look at that guy. It's pretty cool looking, I'll give him that. Looks a bit like a hippie. A spiritual hippie. So, what have you got, Morty? Wow. Another ghastly. There really weren't a lot of ghost types back then, huh? Ah, stop cursing yourself. Or cursing me by hurting yourself, rather. It's really obnoxious. Eh, I'm taking damage. Hmm, maybe I should, I should switch. I guess switching would save me from that curse. Yeah, I'm going to switch. Firion, you're up next. Show your wicked bite. Ah, Hunter. It's so strange. When you read Hunter's Pokedex entry, they always make him sound extremely creepy and nasty. But when you see what they did with him in the show, he's very playful and fun. I've, I've never really knew where to stand with Hunter. Is he supposed to be playful, or is he supposed to be cruel? Maybe a mix of both. I suppose it depends. Every Hunter is different. Good job, Therion. Though that ni Nightshade was painful. I'm gonna have to switch again. Goopy? It's time to go back. However, if it's going to use Curse again, then I'll go with Surf right away. Who knows, maybe if its HP is low enough, it's not, a it's not going to be able to use Curse. Oh dear. It, it actually knocked itself out by using Curse, huh? Huh, I didn't know that was possible. So, his last Pokémon, it's a Gengar. You know, for a second there, I was kind of hoping it would be Ms. Drevis. Oh well, it's Gengar. Just another ghost type. In the ghastly family. Did you see it wiggle its legs? What was that? What was that? The Gengar dance? I love it. Ah, I'm going to take some damage from Curse. Ouch! Take that, you fiend! A dig to the face! In your beautiful, clean, white teeth. Oh, it survived. Oh, it survived. It's time to switch around. I'm going to switch to... Hmm... I'm going to switch to Parasite. Yeah, I just need one small attack to take it out. Anything would do. Oh, how powerful would that be? Oh dear! A critical hit! Parasite, no! Hmm... Gengar, you make me mad. You make me very mad. You shouldn't have done that. You're going to taste the fury of the ice punch. Don't put me to sleep. Ember has way too much energy to be put to sleep by you. Ice punch! You shouldn't have done that. Good job, Ember. Poor little Parasite. Taking a critical hit Shadow Ball to the face? Huh. Well, we beat Morty. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Nice! So we have the Fog Badge. By having Fog Badge, Pokémon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokémon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this, too. Let me guess, this one is Shadow Ball, right? It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Well, I will. If I can find a Pokémon to teach it to. 
Alright, I need to go heal up. Poor little Parasite, that was just not fair. I wanted to show you the fruit of his training, and then BOOM! Shadow Ball to the face. Well, that's fine. There's always other chances. Alright! Awesome! Well, I think... It looks like we're done in Ecrutique for now. Next time we'll need to make our way west. I'd like to go to Olivine City. But before I do that, there's something else I'll need to do. I will need to cross a long path through the fields. So, I guess we'll go strolling at night again. But that's going to be for next time. So until next time, everyone, I wish you all a good night. And thanks for watching!